Right, rigid. Yes, yeah. very, but <laughs> so fine with it. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory. This is my lovely wife. Vinime Orby. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch with you. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new, new video comes, comes out. So today... Today. Today. <laughs> what do we got? Um, we had one of our subscribers ask us a question. Mm -hmm. And we thought, oh, that's a fantastic topic. Mm -hmm. So the question was, honey, do you want to read? We're going to read it exactly mm -hmm. how he worded it. Uh -huh. And then I'll go from there. Okay. The question is, how to approach a black girl? Mm -hmm. And what if they don't like white guys? That's exactly how that question was written. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to break down his question yeah. and then move from there. Okay. So in the question, uh -huh. you say how to approach black girls. Mm -hmm. So this part of the question reveals that you believe that there must be a different way to approach black girls than non-black girls. <laughs> Is that how you felt before you approached me? Was it like, oh no, she's a black girl. I have to approach her a certain way. So did you feel like you had to be special or no. different? No. So, so I will preface this by saying, uh, Biname was the first girl I ever dated. Yeah. So, so like my experience wasn't very good when it came mm -hmm. to approaching girls to begin with. But I didn't, I don't think I factored in that she was black when mm -hmm. I approached her. Mm -hmm. She was extremely beautiful. I thought she was the most attractive girl I had ever seen. So I was just like, <laughs> mostly I was trying to not be too nervous. <laughs> I was like, I want to talk to this girl. But she's like really pretty and I'm really like nervous. Uh -huh. um, I think I was just trying not to say something dumb. <laughs> And he didn't. <laughs> so. so you didn't feel like, oh, I have to. No, I don't. I don't think there's a different approach, mm -hmm. and and I think that would be disingenuous as well. I mm -hmm. think I think you need to um, just approach. Yep. Period. So <laughs> let's keep moving. Okay, and the second part of the question goes, and what if they don't like white guys? Now this is like shooting yourself in the foot before you ever start. <laughs> right? <laughs> because there's an assumption there mm -hmm. that they might not like you. You don't want to assume that. So, so by assuming that black girls don't like white guys, mm -hmm. you're disqualifying yourself before you ever try. Right. And that's not a good thing to do. What Jory said was really good because I'll give you my example. So growing up or like as I became an adult, I didn't really check for white guys. Um, <laughs> I was always, you know, chocolate and, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so in my mind, not that I hated black or white guys, but it was more <laughs> like it wasn't on my mind because mm -hmm. I just thought, I'll get older, I'll marry a black person, we'll have babies, you know, <laughs> live happily ever after. Um, not because I didn't like white guys, mm -hmm. but anyways, it just didn't come to my mind. They weren't right. my first pick. Sure, it wasn't on your radar. No, yeah. so like, as I proceeded to just do me, do life, go to school <laughs> and love on God, uh, here comes Jory and... <laughs> What got my attention was, A, how he approached me, was extremely respectful. I was like, you know, hey, how are you type of deal. So that kind of was like, oh, okay, he's got my attention. <laughs> and then um, he proceeded to, you know, make small talks and things of that nature. And long story short, even through the times that we spent together of him taking me, um, uh, to my car, walking me to my car, opening my door, or inviting me to bet baseball games, I had no idea what was happening at all. I just thought, oh my word, this guy is awesome. He's such a good friend. <laughs> and that's literally how I saw Jory. Mm -hmm. was like, he's a nice guy. Right. But in my mind, I was thinking, there is no way a blonde, <laughs> this blonde can be attracted to... Um, to me, I just, because I wasn't checking for you, I thought you weren't checking for me either. Mm -hmm. We were just, he was just being friendly. Right. So, boy, <laughs> was I wrong. <laughs> now we want to give a few tips mm -hmm. on what you can do as a white guy as you're approaching a black girl. Mm -hmm. Now, these tips 
Uh, most of them go for if you're approaching any girl as a guy. Right. Uh, because you'll find there's not much difference when it comes to falling in love with mm -hmm. a girl as a man. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Number one, mm -hmm. be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah. Don't, don't try to do anything fancy. Nope. It's going to make things a lot better and a lot easier if you just act like you. And don't even think about acting. Just <laughs> be you. <laughs> so I always say this is why, another reason why I said yes to Jory was that um, there is a tendency for white boys, once they marry or get to know a black girl, they change their speech pattern, <laughs> the way they dress, and et cetera, et cetera. And I call them flavor white boys. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with it sure. if you are a flavor white boy because sure. you've been around a lot of black right. people all your life, whatever. Right. I get it. But nothing annoys me more <laughs> than when I see a white guy trying so hard. Mm -hmm. And I said yes to Jordan because he didn't change how he spoke. Right. Like, he was Jory, like just country, yeah. Yeah. and this is this is me, take it right. or leave it. And right. I just, I fell in love with that because it was so authentic. Yeah. Yeah, he was just himself, yeah. and you could see there was no pretending. So, yes, that was a good tip. Be yourself, <laughs> for real. I think before you ever decide to approach someone mm -hmm. and engage in what could become a romantic relationship, mm -hmm. you need to ask yourself, could I see myself with this person long term? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, there needs to be intentionality right. and we would recommend courting not dating yeah that you're that when you get into a relationship uh, as a man with a woman mm -hmm. you should think ahead of time is this someone that I could marry and have a family with yeah because we believe that this relationship mm -hmm. uh, was designed by God mm -hmm. and is meant to to create family yeah and so it's not something that we wanted to mess around with, like dating multiple people. Mm -hmm. So when we when we were getting to know each other, initially it was around other people. We went in groups, we mm -hmm. did things, you know, with my family or with her family or mm -hmm. with other young people. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the goal was always, well, marriage. I know the goal was always that we would head more towards marriage, mm -hmm. you know, and, and until we were ready to really seriously start courting, we kept it pretty light and mm -hmm. just did generic stuff mm -hmm. once we kind of had a chance to talk and realize we we're kind of headed the same way then it's like okay this is intentional mm -hmm. this isn't going to be you know we date for a while then maybe we then break up have, no yeah. it was purposed yeah I mean, so you need to ask yourself yeah. is this someone that i could see myself with right. otherwise you're wasting your time you're wasting and. her time <laughs> and nobody has time for that yeah ain't nobody got time and that. <laughs> so yes we might be like a young couple but our thinking is like are extremely we? old yeah we're not that old <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're young <laughs> but we are not we are very old school in mm -hmm. nature what you call old school just mm -hmm. are some of our ideologies mm -hmm. um so yes us saying courting some of y'all be like well change the channel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but um you guys from the 20s <laughs> yes yeah, no here style you know we made mistakes and stuff like that but sure. um yeah i don't want people to get idea that we're some like a perfect like couple yeah absolutely not no just to be um, intentional yeah don't, don't waste your time don't yeah. you ain't got time to waste <laughs> time okay next all right number three be, be kind, kind. <laughs> just be kind yeah be you be kind be kind that's go, that's go a the huge wrong way thing. yeah, yeah. And number four be friendly be friendly yeah okay so, you're approaching someone be friendly yeah i don't know it goes back to the first one for me just be just yourself. Be yourself. Yeah. If you're a laid back Don't person. Don't try to be too cool or too slick. Just be friendly. Too overly. Be kind. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Overly friendly. Like people will see through it. So mm -hmm. just, yeah, be kind, be friendly. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is my personal favorite. <laughs> you have to be persistent. Mm -hmm. um, just because you think she might not like you. Uh, I hear all the time from my husband that... He wanted me and he went after me. <laughs> and yeah. he didn't stop until, yeah. you know, we got married. So, yeah. And yeah. and the thing is, there may be just the fact that she hasn't considered a white guy. Right. Like Bename. She mm -hmm. hadn't she hadn't written off that thought completely, but it just never really was there. Right. Like she had to kind of be introduced to that idea exactly. in me. That's and right. so if you already disqualify yourself, then you don't you don't even mm -hmm. give her a chance to consider you. To consider. And so after you've 
after you've approached her, right. if you really do like her, you know, don't give up. I mean, don't don't hound her. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be a stalker don't now. Don't be crazy. <laughs> but but you know, check back in and and yeah. don't give up if you really like that girl, you know. Don't play so. games either. If you know what you want, right. don't play games. Yeah. That is something I did not have the patience for. Like, either we're going to do this or we're not. I yeah. don't have time to chase and anybody. That's, that's something that worked out for us because you didn't have the patience for games. No. And, and I was a homeschooled country bumpkin who didn't know how to play games. So it worked out. It was out. perfect. Because if he was, oh, well, bye. <laughs> okay? You remember when you asked me if I liked you? Yeah. And I was like, not slick at all. I was just like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but at first, initially when you um, approached me, there was such, you had such bold uh, stature. And the way you walk was so demanded respect. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not who that is well. this guy? I, I had good posture, yes, but. I was nervous. I was like, what you saw are was just you me in being the really stiff and nervous? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> no. and you saw it as good posture. <laughs> I even asked you, I said, are you in the military? Like, because, <laughs> right. I mean, and he was right. just like, <laughs> right, rigid. Yes, yeah. very, but <laughs> so fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, anyways, we're going to knock off it. And we're going to throw in a little something here. We're going to flip mm -hmm. it. Okay, mm -hmm. you asked the question, what if the, this black girl doesn't like white guys? Right. So we want to ask you, this can happen, mm -hmm. what if mm -hmm. your family mm -hmm. doesn't like black girls? Mm -hmm. Or your and, friends. Or friends. Yeah. Yeah, this is something you need to consider. Yep. And a, a lot of families are great. They're mm -hmm. very accepting, mm -hmm. very kind, um, and supportive of whoever you choose. However, you may run into a situation where mm -hmm. your family treats you differently that's right if you're with a black girl yeah and so it's good to know mm -hmm. kind of where they stand uh, before getting into that relationship mm -hmm. and if you count the cost and say this girl's worth it even though I could lose friends I could right. have a different relationship with my family right then I mean that's your choice but just go in with your eyes open yeah. knowing knowing what's going on what could happen yeah. and or like George said are you willing to risk a lot of those things if you see yourself again going back to that be intentional is this who you, you, you see yeah. for the rest of your life and mm -hmm. if they are and you come to calls baby go you better it. go for it yeah, and don't, don't stop look back. Don't look back. <laughs> yeah, marriage relationships are difficult marriages sure. are difficult sure. but they also have um, their rewards mm -hmm. um, you know with children and and in experiences as mm -hmm. well and you always have a partner and um, a best friend mm -hmm. so yeah like I, I pray that helps answer your question <laughs> and I hope you're a believer yes. um, and if you're not look into that <laughs> yeah because we will say that yeah. uh, for us the strongest bond in our relationship is God mm -hmm. and when we got married we looked at Thessalonians where it talks about the threefold cord mm -hmm. that is not easily broken. Mm -hmm. And if you imagine each of us being a cord and then God is that third cord. Mm -hmm. And when we feel strained in our relationship, mm -hmm. he's that third cord that holds us together. And mm -hmm. so that's, that is important, we believe. And mm -hmm. that's what's carried us is mm -hmm. having God there. Yes, having the Lord as your constant mm -hmm. uh, goal yeah. would help a lot in right. marriage and relationships. So right. thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen our How We Met video, we will try and link it up for you guys. I think it's close to like getting 10,000 views. Ooh. We would like for yeah, it to get 10,000 <laughs> views by the end of July, which is definitely possible. So mm -hmm. share our videos. Mm -hmm. So with that dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. So now we want to give a few tips mm -hmm. on what you can do when you're a pra uh, a pratching a, blo <laughs> a bloke girl. <laughs> you know that's going to make it to the boopers. No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Whatever <laughs> shoots your boat. Whatever shoots my boat. Whatever rocks your boat. <laughs> Whatever rocks your face, whatever shoots your boat, and whatever rocks your boat. Okay. How does it go? Whatever floats your. Boat. Whatever floats your. Boat. Whatever shoots your boat, and also whatever rocks your boat. <laughs>
He's so mean. Leave me alone. I am tired, okay? Like, Those whatever. Those are written down and recorded. <laughs> and recorded. Can we please stop All right. with you? <laughs>